Hey everyone, how's it going? Snuggles time here, bringing you another video. And this time we're looking at the linebacker patch, or patch 1.4.87. So we're getting tons of content in this particular patch. Okay, I shouldn't say tons, a fair, a respectable amount of content. So first and foremost, the linebackers coming out. This is a 65 ton clan heavy mech. This is an omni mech, so we have a fixed engine. It's going to be moving at 60, oh, why did I say six? God damn it, I've already fucked this video up, but we'll keep going. It's going to be at 97 kph and then after speed tweak it's going to be moving at 104. so this is going to be storm crow speed now there's been some issues about its size but after the scaling photos came out this thing is going to be the size of a catapult so i'm actually really looking forward to this and um this picture doesn't have it but the, this this mech has these little adorable fucking hands that i they make me laugh they they slay me so i i really really am looking forward to this mech it, it, it's gonna be a lot of fun all right next up we have clan hero max now uh, just as a reminder that the hero max are going to be released the same day as the linebacker but the uh the models that they put the paint jobs on here are not the actual hero models themselves so if you look at the hard points and where things line up you will notice um you know one of these things is not like the other so if you're expecting to see this specific mech that was modeled here on injection day, you're not going to get that and you're going to be a little disappointed. So just keep that in mind. Now I do like the, the direwolf pattern, the warhawk pattern, and a little bit of the, a little bit of the timberwolf, but overall good looking mechs and this should be a nice fun addition to the game. Now, I didn't pick any of them up. I, I'm thinking about the direwolf just so I can do the eight ballistic hard points. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm still on the fence about that one. All right. Also, cockpit items. Now, it's going to be the linebacker um, red line helmet. Uh, this is going to be nice to see if they actually do the um, similar thing to the Kodiak and the Atlas one, where they kind of open up and light up and look pretty fucking cool. Uh, helmet themes, again, going with the whole linebacker and football theme um, jawbone. And I have no idea what the fuck that warhorn sounds like, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be football related. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for all of you outside of the U.S., um, American football, a strange sport. All right, decals. We are going to be getting more faction decals, and we are going to be getting... Let, oh, screen shake is real. We're getting letters. So since we have a six decal slots, and, um, well, if I know the player community, we're going to be seeing a lot of curse words and, and very naughty words going into uh, going on to Max. So, I, uh, you can spell fuck, you can spell shit, damn, you know, just the combinations are not limitless. They're you got six characters to work with, but be creative. Also, we're getting numbers, and we're getting hazard signs as well as more uh, periodic table elements, symbols, and we're getting f straight up words. So, if you want to say fuck smoke jaguar, there you go. You can say fuck smoke jaguar. All right, big one, gameplay. Now, before I get too into this, guys, just realize that PGI is trying to increase time to kill. So if you're seeing all these and you're thinking like, holy shit, they're nerfing everything, like they're trying to increase time to kill. That's kind of what they're going for, all right? All right, so inner spear, small laser, uh, maximum range increase to 300 meters and optimal range or maximum optimal range to do full damage has been increased to 150 meters is that going to make them op i don't know but maybe if you boat them it i don't know it'll be interesting to see how that plays out clan large pulse lasers took a big hit in terms of range so maximum effective range is no longer 1200 meters so you can't use large pulses for sniping instead they're going to 840 meters that is still Damn near close to inner sphere large lasers. So, loads of fun there. Anti ECM capability of inner sphere PPCs. The uh, non ER version has been bumped to six seconds, uh, up from four. And the ER PPC has been bumped to 10 seconds, up from 10. And the heat reduction has been 13.5, um, it was 14. Now, clan ER PPCs have just had the anti-ECM capability up to six seconds. It used to be four. And no heat 
uh, quirks or changes there, which I think is fair because they do splash damage, and the uh, uh, bleh, inner sphere does not. Ballistics, regular AC2s, clan AC2s, um, shotguns, regular AC5s, and then clan LB5s all have had their heat reduced except for the clan LB, LBX5s. I probably should have left that out on the list if I wanted to sound intelligent. This one has had its heat increased to match that of the Ultras. And while we're on the topic of Ultras, they made a flat percentage change to the Ultras in terms of jam chance. It's going to be at 17%. And, um, it, okay, it makes sense for the 20s and the 10s. The 5s, I think it's a, a, a bit harsh, even for trying to increase time to kill. And the 2s, uh, that, that's just... Um, that's that breaks my heart. I have so many mechs that I'm gonna have to reconfigure. All right, uh, drama aside, but the jam duration has been reduced to three seconds from five seconds on the Ultra Twos. Uh, heat increase on the Inner Sphere Ultra Fives from one to one point five. Jam duration increased to six seconds, up from five. So again, we're seeing. Um, big increases to jam chance and jam duration. But again, they're trying to increase time to kill, and that's kind of what they're going for. Missiles. Is there a possibility of having a Lurmageddon? Maybe. Maybe. And if you're new to the game, we haven't had a Lurmageddon in a while, so we're actually kind of overdue. Uh, just to put it in perspective, just imagine the LRM spam on Polar Islands, but... I don't know why I decided to whisper that one in the mic. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just feeling extra dramatic today. I guess not dramatic would be the wrong. God damn it. Uh, that's, I can already, I can see the comments. Fuck it. We'll leave it in there. All right. LRM duration or uh, cooldown, I'm sorry, has been decreased across the board, not by a whole bunch until we get to the larger launchers, and that is the 20s and the 15s. So on the on the 15s, maybe a Lerm again, maybe, maybe on the clan side. Uh, Inner Sphere, not, not necessarily so much. Four seconds is still four seconds, but Quirks, possibly. Uh, but the big thing I'm kind of looking forward to, or at least in terms of making the LRM 20s viable again, is the spread has been decreased to match that of the LRM 15s. So with Artemis, it's going to be LRM 20s, but with the spread of the LRM 15s with Artemis. So it might actually be worth it to run the 20s. Now the cooldown again, it's now it's at 4.3 seconds or 4.6 seconds for the clans. So that that's still doable. So actually, it, this might make the uh, the LRM 20s instead of just being a, a bad choice this actually might might make them playable so if you're really hyped and excited about lrms well cool beans you gotta you got a lot to you got a lot to work with with this patch all right streak twos cooldown duration reduced to two seconds from 3.5 well they're still fucking streak twos and they're still fucking awful Clan Streak 2s. Uh, duration decreased to 3 seconds. Uh, I think they shouldn't have fucked with the Clan Streak 2s because that's going to be a huge imbalance, especially when we start looking towards uh, community warfare and scouting missions. And where did this scroll? There we go. Oh, Quirks, that's a, that's a different tab. All right. So, Inner Sphere Quirks. The Phoenix Hawk is getting a lot of love, and I'm kind of torn, uh, torn. God damn it, I'm just fucking words up. Jesus. I'm slowly unlearning elementary school. All right. Anyway, Phoenix Hawk, Quirks. Now, I'm a bit torn. There we go. Because I did the awful Max with decent build trailer for the Phoenix Hawk, oddly enough. I didn't know they were going to give Phoenix Hawk Quirks this pass. But they addressed one of the big flaws with the mech, and that is the arm. So uh, I could just go ahead and publish the video, or I could hold on to it for a bit and reshoot it and see if they fix the issue. But... Um, I think it's going to be placing more of a band-aid on it than a flat-out fix, so uh, I don't know. If you guys have any sort of opinion on what I should do, uh, sit a, or kind of chill and, and play a few games, see how it performs, uh, or just push it out with possibly erroneous information. 
or I just could still be right on the money. Anyway, let me know what you guys want to see on that one. All right, so the structure buff has been removed and replaced with straight up armor buffs. And then a little bit less on the 1B, but that one has ECM. And then, you know, 21 across the board. And the victors, surprisingly, getting getting some love here. A little more acceleration, deceleration. So more mobility and speed is life in that mech. So if you guys are thinking that's not enough for that mech, just speed is life. The more speed you can get, the more mobile you can be, the better you can torso twist and, and stay alive. So good to see the victor getting a little bit of love. I just wish they would... Um, they would unnerf the the jump jets here and make the the Highlander, the Victor, and the Cataphracts. You know, just just make them great again. You know, I, I just realized what I said. I'm sorry. I, I know the elections just happened, and um, I will expunge that from the record, please. So, anyway, uh, they they did that to try to stop the jump jetting pop tart PPC Goss meta. Well, we happen to have a jump jetting pop tarting PPC Goss meta with the the night Gur, the timber wolf the summoner the hunchback 2c the huntsman uh the nova um and that that's that's only the clan ones that are doing it the inner sphere ones can do it too so it i don't know give us inner sphere guys some some options to run to run pace with the clans please and i just all you have to do is is just, just unnerf the jump jets and then and then the victor will be glorious again okay Enough, enough nostalgia. I almost said Nutella. God damn it. I just... <sighs> After this patch, I'm going to have to go fucking Google some hooked on phonic shit and relearn how to how to read. Although, big change with the with the, the patch notes on the quirks. And, and this is uh, PGI, if you, if you all happen to be watching this, this is a, this is a great fucking change you did in the patch notes. Spot on work. You're actually telling us why you adjusted the quirks. And after reading it, you know, it, it kind of makes sense. And... I think this is going to go a long way to uh, to to uh, bring the salt level of the community down when these when these quirk passes happen. So, uh, good job, guys. Good job. And oh, what the fuck is this? Is this a spreadsheet for ants? What is this? What is this? Where's where's the zoom thing? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. All right. So. Refinement on most of these, like the Kit Foxes, they're getting the uh, structure removed and replaced with armor, and in well, the, some some areas, and then a little bit of structure removal on a few of the center torso and the components. But the big thing with the clans is we're seeing the eight-piece set bonus for the Omnipods, which I actually like. I, I like I like that they did this because before you just got a 2.5 XP bonus, which that that's fuck all, that's um, that's nothing. But now if you guys are, are really concerned about keeping or not breaking your set bonus, you, you'll get some nice quirks, especially for clan. I think that's a, a good way to kind of encourage people to um, not really turn into meta cheese balls and, and kind of stay with the, with the hard points in the build. Oh, excuse me, I had a burp there, didn't want to do the microphone, but uh, you know, I think the this AP set bonus is a step in the right direction. All right. Now the the setup or the format they did for this one is the new mechs that are not in the game at all. Like this is the hero kit fox. Its current values are zero, and it's getting injected with quirks on par with the other kit foxes. So when you see this one and it's just completely greened out, and it you're like, oh my god, that one's getting super buff. Well, not really. It's just being injected I, th I think they should well i mean they have to include it because it's in the chassis that's being i don't know it is maybe put all of the newly injected mechs in their own category so it doesn't it, it kind of threw me off for a bit i'm like holy shit this kid fox is going to be super op and then i was like oh wait no they're just doing injection values so it, it can it uh it's confusing the easily confused derpy people such as myself all right, the Arctic Cheaters. Now, these things are taking a bit of a nerf. However, the right and left leg, when you combine that, that's 5% reverse speed and 5% acceleration, deceleration, 5% turn rate, and you're missing force structure off the legs. And if you if you go into the forums right now, some you would think that uh, the Arctic Cheetah is getting um, a negative 40 armor quirk and um, has had its engine fixed to a standard 60. Like, uh, they're like, this is, this is the death of the cheetah. Like, guys, it's a fucking Arctic cheetah. It's, it's stupid overpowered. It is the Kodiak 3 of light mechs. 
it'll be fine. It will be fine. All right, and the adder. Um, not sure why they took the structure buffs away. I don't know, but that's happening. But you're getting a little bit of structure on uh, different sections, so like the left arm, left torso. Uh, not so much the CT, though. All right, and then that's, again, the adder hero. If you hadn't noticed that, but you probably did. I guess I'm, I'm just a derp, but it looks overpowered. Uh, Nova's getting a little bit of little structure nerfs, but again, the Nova did get tiny, so it was to be expected that with the scaling down, it would its uh, quirks would would soon follow. But uh, maybe it's a little too much. Maybe they could have gone ha or met it halfway and just did uh, a split. Storm crows, storm crows are on the list. They're not gaining any quirks. All they're getting is the AP set bonus, which again, nice to see. And then this is the linebacker. So the linebacker is getting injected in the game. They don't have any quirks so far, and these are the changes to them. So it like, makes that entire column look like they're going to be super buffed. But we have yet to see how they will perform in-game. All right, summoners. Now these uh, changes to the to the quirks on the Omnipod. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. Try to see how this one works, because uh, I'm going to have to go back through and, and reshop for Omnipods and stuff to, to really make my quirks streamline for the mech that that I'm trying or what I'm trying to do with that build on that mech. All right, there's summoners, summoners. Okay, the Night Gur. The Night Gur is not getting any quirks, but its AP set bonus is going to change. It's going to go from a ballistic cooldown of 10% to a UAC cooldown of 10%. So, interesting. I kind of like it though. All right, Timberwolves. Timberwolves are not getting any structure buffs or any sort of positive buffs or changes at all, except for that eight-piece set bonus. And, oh, where, oh God, where did it go? I, I scrolled too quick. Do you suffer from premature scrolling? Well, I do. Contact your doctor. All right, so the torso and turn speed, I, I like how they didn't really incorporate um, offensive quirks onto the these eight C eight P set bonuses. I like how they inc uh, incorporated chassis quirks. So I think that chassis quirks are going to be what, uh, especially in the Timberwolf for that, that super mobility, because that mech is fucking mobile to, to really get people to stick with the, the AP set bonus. I, uh, I think that's, that's going to be nice. And then, you know, the ER PPC gen velocity, that's, that that's going to be, that's going to be meta. Which mech is that? It's the D. <laughs> I said D. All right. And then Warhawks. Warhawks are getting some love, actually. Uh, structures being removed and being replaced with armor, and then additional structures being added to the center torso. So some good love to see on the Warhawk side. Direwells, no structure. However, again, that sweet, sweet 8P set bonus. And then the Kodiak nerves. So a torso yaw angle, the ability to look up and down for this mech is being reduced from 80 degrees to 60. And on the Kodiak 3, all the structure quirks have been removed. Now, is the quirk... Is... God damn it, I, I, why can I not... I cannot English. That is my primary language and I cannot do it well at the moment. I, I really don't have an excuse. It's like 6 o'clock at night. I've had a full 8 hours of sleep. I haven't been drinking... Fuck. All right. Is it enough to really nerf the Kodiak 3? Yes and no. I'm going to say mainly no because this mech possesses everything that you need in Mech Warrior Online to be an, like, an amazing and outstanding mech. It has high mounted ballistic hard points, it has clan tech. It has the Clan XL engine, and you can remove and swap around that engine. And you also have the ability to move whether you want the Ferro Fiber, Standard Armor, or Endo, or Standard st uh, uh, Structure. You have all the customize, uh, customability, customability, customization. Fuck it, no more big words for me. You can, you can move shit around to your liking that you can do on Intersphere Max that you can't do on clans and you have the advantage of clan tech. So 
everything everything that you need comes together in this one mech and that's why it is so powerful but what is going to nerf it is going to be the changes to the UX. You not necessarily you you can't change the mech unless PGI goes back through and, and puts the hard points out of the shoulders and puts them into its hips or makes it fire out of its knees. That's that's the only way that you're going to change it geometry wise. The only other way you're going to nerf it is by changing the weapons it traditionally uses. All right, and then retrofitting of the uh, faction patterns onto the banshee the onion the uh, shit taro the shadow hawk uh, god damn it i almost said shadow cat and the locust look how goddamn adorable that thing is compared to everything else just so goddamn lovable i want to take it home i want to hug it i want to okay 2d railed and then other fixes and changes if you tried to put lrm 10s in your blackjack uh too well, it populated as SRM6s. I think that is the game very politely telling you put SRMs in your blackjack. On the Knight, Knight Gur, Knight, Knight Gyre, Knight, 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 the Richard Greer mech, uh, the Jade Falcon pattern. Uh, fuck, I think I used that joke in another video. God damn it. Uh, okay. Um, the Knight Gur. Anyway, the Jade Falcon pattern, it had some symmetry issues. They went through and fixed it. Uh, stalkers, I guess some of the uh, cockpit items were obstructing the weapon door indicator light. If you don't know what the weapon door indicator light is, well, there's actually a light on the inside of the cockpit. If you have your bay doors open, it's green. If it's closed, it's red. And if you haven't touched that button since the very beginning of the match, it stays white, a neutral color. Um, I could do a video on that and explain it in a little bit better detail. I don't want to do it now because um, I don't want to make the video super long. So a whole bunch of other uh, known issues and, and things like that. Uh, you guys can go ahead and read through. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on that. And oh we'll, we'll shit, well, we're actually at the end of the patch notes. All right, well, um, if you guys have any comments or questions about anything, anything I glossed over, didn't expend, uh, expend God, uh, I, I broke my rule. I said no more big words. And I tried to use a big word, and I got reminded of why I can't English right now. If you guys have any comments or questions about anything, go and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to laugh at me for my uh, inability to do English well today, um, I, I've more than deserved it in this video. So uh, I'm Snuggles Time, and I will see you all around. Twenties and the fifteens. So on the on the fifteens, maybe a lerm again, maybe, maybe on the clan side. Uh Intersphere, not not necessarily so much. Four seconds is still four seconds, but quirks, possibly. Uh, but the big thing I'm kind of looking forward to, or at least in terms of making the LRM twenties viable again, is the spread has been decreased to match that of the LRM-15s. So with Artemis, it's going to be LRM-20s, but with the spread of the LRM-15s with Artemis. So it might actually be worth it to run the 20s. Now the cooldown, again, it's now it's at 4.3 seconds or 4.6 seconds for the clans. So that that's still doable. So actually, it, this might make the, uh, the LRM-20s instead of just being a, a, a bad choice this actually might might make them playable so if you're really hyped and excited about lrms well cool beans you gotta you got a lot to you got a lot to work with with this patch all right streak twos cooldown duration reduced to two seconds from 3.5 well they're still fucking streak twos and they're still fucking awful Clan Streak 2s. Uh, duration decreased to 3 seconds. Uh, I think they shouldn't have fucked with the Clan Streak 2s because that's going to be a huge imbalance, especially when we start looking towards uh, community warfare and scouting missions. And where did this scroll? There we go. Oh, Quirks, that's a, that's a different tab. All right. So, Inner Sphere Quirks. The Phoenix Hawk is getting a lot of love, and I'm kind of torn, uh, torn. God damn it, I'm just fucking words up. Jesus. So I'm slowly unlearning elementary school. All right. Anyway, Phoenix Hawk, Quirks. Now, I'm a bit torn. There we go. Because I did the awful mechs with decent build trailer for the Phoenix Hawk, oddly enough. I didn't know they were going to give Phoenix Hawk Quirks this pass. 
but they addressed one of the big flaws with the mech and that is the arm so uh i could just go ahead and publish the video or i could hold on to it for a bit and reshoot it and see if they fix the issue but um i think it's going to be placing more of a band-aid on it than a flat out fix so uh, i don't know if you guys have any sort of opinion on what i should do uh sit a or kind of chill and, and play a few games see how it performs uh, or just push it out with possibly erroneous information or i just could still be right on the money anyway let me know what you guys want to see on that one all right so the structure buff has been removed and replaced with straight up armor buffs and then a little bit less on the one b but that one has ecm and then you know 21 across the board and the victors surprisingly getting getting some love here a little more acceleration deceleration so more mobility and speed is life in that mech so if you guys are thinking that's not enough for that mech just speed is life and the more speed you can get the more mobile you can be the better you can torso a twist and and stay alive so good to see the victor getting a little bit of love i just wish they would um they would unnerf the the jump jets here and make the the highlander the victor and the cataphracts you know just just make them great again you know it's, it, I just realized what I said. I'm sorry. I know the elections just happened, and um, I will expunge that from the record, please. So, anyway, uh, they, they did that to try to stop the jump jetting pop tart PPC Goss meta. Well, we happen to have a jump jetting pop tarting PPC Goss meta with the, the Night Gur, the Timberwolf, the Summoner, the Hunchback 2C, the Huntsman, uh, the Nova. Um, and that, that's that's only the clan ones that are doing it. The inner sphere ones can do it too. So it I don't know, give us inner sphere guys some some options to run to run pace with the clans, please. And I just all you have to do is is just, just unnerf the jump jets and then and then the victor will be glorious again. Okay. Enough enough nostalgia. I almost said Nutella. God damn it. I just After this patch note, I'm gonna have to go fucking Google some hooked on phonic shit and relearn how to how to read although big change with the with the, the patch notes on the quirks and, and this is uh pgi if you, if you all happen to be watching this this is a this is a great fucking change you did in the patch notes spot on work you're actually telling us why you adjusted the quirks and after reading it you know it it kind of makes sense and i think this is going to go a long way to uh to to uh bring the salt level of the community down when these when these quirk passes happen so uh, good job guys good job and oh, what the fuck is this? is this a spreadsheet for ants what is this what is this where's where's the zoom thing where did it go there it is okay all right so refinement on most of these like the kit foxes they're getting the uh structure removed and replaced with armor and in well the, some some areas and then a little bit of structure removal on a few of the center torso and the components but the big thing with the clans is we're seeing the eight piece set bonus for the omnipods which i actually like i, I like i like that they did this because before you just got a 2.5 xp bonus which that that's fuck all that's um that's nothing but now if you guys are, are really concerned about keeping or not breaking your set bonus you, you'll get some nice quirks especially for clan i think that's a, a good way to kind of encourage people to um not really turn into meta cheese balls and, and kind of stay with the with the hard points in the build oh, excuse me had a burp there didn't want to do the microphone but uh, you know i think the this ap set bonus is a step in the right direction all right now the the setup or the format they did for this one is the new mechs that are not in the game at all like this is the hero kit fox its current values are zero and it's getting injected with quirks on par with the other kit foxes so when you see this one and it's just completely greened out and it you're like oh my god that one's getting super buff well not really it's just being injected i, th I think they should well i mean they have to include it because it's in the chassis that's being i don't know it is maybe put all of the newly injected mechs in their own category so it doesn't it, it kind of threw me off for a bit. I'm like, holy shit, this Kid Fox is going to be super OP. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, they're just doing injection values. So it, it can, it, uh, it's confusing the easily confused derpy people, such as myself. All right, the Arctic Cheaters. Now, these things are taking a bit of a nerf. However, 
right and left leg when you combine that that's five percent reverse speed and five percent acceleration deceleration five percent turn rate and you're missing force structure off the legs and if you if you go into the forums right now some you would think that uh the arctic cheetah is getting um a negative 40 armor quirk and um has had its engine fixed to a standard and like they're trying to increase time to kill that's kind of what they're going for all right all right so inner spear small laser uh, maximum range increased to 300 meters and optimal range or maximum optimal range to do full damage has been increased to 150 meters is that going to make them op i don't know but maybe if you boat them it i don't know it'll be interesting to see how that plays out clan large pulse lasers took a big hit in terms of range so maximum effective range is no longer 1200 meters so you can't use large pulses for sniping instead they're going to 840 meters that is still damn near close to inner sphere large lasers so loads of fun there anti-ecm capability of inner sphere ppcs the uh, non-er version has been bumped to six seconds uh, up from four and the ERPPC has been bumped to 10 seconds up from 10 and the heat reduction has been 13.5 um, it was 14. Now clan ERPPCs have just had the anti-ECM capability up to six seconds it used to be four and no heat uh, quirks or changes there which I think is fair because they do splash damage and the uh, uh, bleh, inner sphere does not. Ballistics, regular AC2s, clan AC2s, um, shotguns, regular AC5s, and then clan LB5s all have had their heat reduced except for the clan LB, LBX5s. I probably should have left that out on the list if I wanted to sound intelligent. This one has had its heat increased to match that of the Ultras. And while we're on the topic of Ultras, they made a flat percentage change to the ultras in terms of jam chance it's going to be at 17 percent and um it okay it makes sense for the 20s and the 10s the fives i think it's a, a a bit harsh even for trying to increase time to kill and the twos uh that that's just um that's that breaks my heart i have so many mechs that I'm gonna have to reconfigure all right uh drama aside but the jam duration has been reduced to three seconds from five seconds on the ultra twos uh heat increase on the inner sphere ultra fives from one to 1.5 jam duration increased to six seconds up from five so again we're seeing um, big increases to jam chance and jam duration but again they're trying to increase time to kill and that's kind of what they are going for. Missiles. Is there a possibility of having a Lurmageddon? Maybe. Maybe. And if you're new to the game, we haven't had a Lurmageddon in a while, so we're actually kind of overdue. Uh, just to put it in perspective, just imagine the LRM spam on Polar Islands, but everywhere. I don't know why I decided to whisper that one in the mic. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just feeling extra dramatic today i guess not dramatically the wrong god damn it ah uh, that's i can already i can see the comments fuck it we'll leave it in there all right lrm duration or uh, cooldown i'm sorry has been decreased across the board not by a whole bunch until we get to the larger launchers and that is the 60 like uh they're like this is this is the death of the cheetah like guys it's a fucking arctic cheetah it's it's stupid overpowered it is the kodiak 3 of light mechs it'll be fine it will be fine all right and the adder um not sure why they took the structure buffs away i don't know but that's happening but you're getting a little bit of structure on uh different sections so like the left arm left torso uh, not so much the CT, though. All right. And then that's, again, the Adder Hero. If you hadn't noticed that, but you probably did. Because I'm, I'm just a derp, but it looks overpowered. Uh, Nova's getting a little bit of a little structure nerfs, but again, the Nova did get tiny, so it was to be expected. 
that with the scaling down it would its uh, quirks would would soon follow but uh, maybe it's a little too much maybe they could have gone ha or met it halfway and just did uh, a split storm crows storm crows are on the list they're not gaining any quirks all they're getting is the ap set bonus which again nice to see And then this is the linebacker. So the linebacker is getting injected in the game. They don't have any quirks so far, and these are the changes to them. So it like, makes that entire column look like they're going to be super buffed. But we have yet to see how they will perform in-game. All right, summoners. Now these uh, changes to the to the quirks on the Omnipod. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. Try to see how this one works, because uh, I'm going to have to go back through and, and reshop for Omnipods and stuff to, to really make my quirks streamlined for the mech that that I'm trying or what I'm trying to do with that build on that mech all right there's summoners summoners okay the night gur the night gur is not getting any quirks but it's eight piece set bonus is going to change it's going to go from a ballistic cooldown of 10 percent to a uac cooldown of 10 percent so interesting I kind of like it though all right timberwolves timberwolves are not getting any structure buffs or any sort of positive buffs or changes at all, except for that eight piece set bonus. And, oh, where, oh God, where did it go? I, I scrolled too quick. Do you suffer from premature scrolling? Well, I do. Contact your doctor. All right, so the torso and turn speed, I, I like how they didn't really incorporate um, offensive quirks onto the these eight C eight P set bonuses. I like how they inc uh, incorporated chassis quirks. So, I think that chassis quirks are going to be what, uh, especially in the Timberwolf for that, that super mobility, because that mech is fucking mobile, to to really get people to stick with the the AP set bonus. I uh, I think that's that's going to be nice. And then you know the ERPPC gen velocity. That's that that's going to be that's going to be meta. Which mech is that? It's the D. <laughs> I said D. All right. And then Warhawks. Warhawks are getting some love, actually. Uh, structures being removed and being replaced with armor. And then additional structures being added to the center torso. So some good love to see on the Warhawk side. Direwells, no structure. However, again, that sweet, sweet 8P set bonus. And then the Kodiak. Hey everyone, how's it going? Snuggles time here, bringing you another video. And this time we're looking at the linebacker patch, or patch 1.4.87. So we're getting tons of content in this particular patch. Okay, I shouldn't say tons, a fair, a respectable amount of content. So first and foremost, the linebackers coming out. This is a 65 ton clan heavy mech. This is an omni mech, so we have a fixed engine. It's going to be moving at 60, oh, why did I say six? God damn it, I've already fucked this video up. But we'll keep going. It's going to be at 97 kph and then after speed tweak it's going to be moving at 104. so this is going to be storm crow speed now there's been some issues about its size but after the scaling photos came out this thing is going to be the size of a catapult so i'm actually really looking forward to this and um this picture doesn't have it but the, this this mech has these little adorable fucking hands that i they make me laugh they they slay me so i i really really am looking forward to this mech it, it, it's gonna be a lot of fun all right next up we have clan hero max now uh, just as a reminder that the hero max are going to be released the same day as the linebacker but the uh the models that they put the paint jobs on here are not the actual hero models themselves so if you look at the hard points and where things line up you will notice um you know one of these things is not like the other so if you're expecting to see this specific mech that was modeled here on injection day, you're not going to get that and you're going to be a little disappointed. So just keep that in mind. Now I do like the, the dire wolf pattern, the warhawk pattern, and a little bit of the, a little bit of the timber wolf, but overall good looking mechs and this should be a nice fun addition to the game. Now, I didn't pick any of them up. I, I'm thinking about the dire wolf just so I can do the eight ballistic hard points. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm still on the fence about that one. 
All right, also cockpit items. Now, this is going to be the linebacker um, red line helmet. Uh, this is going to be nice to see if they actually do the um, similar thing to the Kodiak and the Atlas one, where they kind of open up and light up and look pretty fucking cool. Uh, helmet themes, again, going with the whole linebacker and football theme um, jawbone. And I have no idea what the fuck that warhorn sounds like, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be football related. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for all of you outside of the U.S., um, American football, a strange sport. All right, decals. We are going to be getting more faction decals, and we are going to be getting... Let, oh, screen shake is real. We're getting letters. So since we have a six decal slots and... Um, well, if I know the player community, we're going to be seeing a lot of curse words and, and very naughty words going into uh, going on to Max. So I, uh, you can spell fuck, you can spell shit, damn, you know, just the combinations are not limitless. There, you got six characters to work with, but be creative. Also, we're getting numbers, and we're getting hazard signs as well as more uh, periodic table of elements uh, symbols. And we're getting straight up words. So if you want to say fuck smoke jaguar, there you go. You can say fuck smoke jaguar. All right, big one, gameplay. Now, before I get too into this, guys, just realize that PGI is trying to increase time to kill. So if you're seeing all these and you're thinking like, holy shit, they're nerfing everything. 